Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews where I review everything that has anything to do with alcohol and on Sundays you get my special world famous coffee reviews. Today we're doing wine, Menage a Trois Silk. Take a nice look at that. Red blend. Now what does the label tell us? Hmm, soft red blend, California 2015. Gently pressed, delicately aged. This one actually gives us, now the ABV is 13.5% and it is a combination, which is nice that they list it, of Pinot Noir, Malbec, and Petit Syrah. So, nice blend there. Um, as you can see, I have been into it a little bit, so let's open it up again. Nice synthetic cork, but it's got their little logo on it. This was actually started by two uh, psychologists, started this uh, wine company. And the Menage a Trois, which is three, um, is for, and you see how this has a blend of three grapes? Most of them are blends of three grapes. Not all, I did one that was four grapes. Um, this will be under my red blend, red wine uh, playlist. Um, red blend wine playlist and which will be attached to the video uh, prove my playlist because I have something for every single person that is for sure and please hit the subscribe button while I pour this wine so there it is hmm. I would call it actually medium red um, a little darker than a Pinot but the Pinot has lightened it up you know so mulled back stark, Pinot's light, right. tea sera on there. Uh, so let's give it a smell. Hmm. It's got a nice smell of hmm. jam made out of maybe plums, maybe raspberries, maybe cherries, maybe some strawberry. Not that I smell all those things, but I think everybody would smell some combination of that raspberry blackberry plums cherries it's the kind of smell coming off and maybe mixed together in a, in a, in a, a jam type thing we can get that little sweetness too to the smell the feel is silky it really is it's got a real smooth, silky feel to it. Um, it's got the same taste that I was smelling. There is a little residual sugar in here. Uh, it's not sweet, but there's a little bit of residual sugar. Um, the taste isn't bad. Uh, it's an easy drinking wine. Uh, very easy. Uh, very uh, medium tannins medium to medium light that's why it feels silky they're they're well integrated acid ain't bad either i don't know if, if they've added acid uh, or if it's natural um they've left some residual sugar in there for sure um if they micro aerated it but anyway for the price you're going to pay for this which is mm, between eight and ten dollars, probably, uh, maybe as much as twelve. I wouldn't pay any more than that. Uh, but for eight to ten or under ten, it's a nice wine. It's easy to drink. Uh, it's got some nice flavor to it. It's not world class, but you're not going to spit it out. It's a nice little sipper, and it would go with uh, you know pizza and barbecue food and stuff like that. So, uh, all in all, um, not a bad, uh, not a bad glass. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.